Today on Nerd Out, token platforms. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about various token platforms. One of them is my own called Firehose, and we'll take a look at one other one. So this is an unexhaustive roundup. Um, I'm sure there's more stuff out there. People are developing on Cardano all over the place, but we're just going to take a not so deep dive into these platforms today. Uh, so the first one I want to briefly mention is Firehose. This is my own platform. It's a low-level transaction system for Cardano. It's, it's really designed for Cardano at scale. So if you have a massive amount of tokens you need to move, if you're doing sales, airdrops, um, it, it has built-in transaction chaining, so you don't have to wait for new blocks to arrive before you do the next token sale or airdrop. Um, it bundles transactions and tokens together so that you can make the transaction bigger and move more tokens at one time in each transaction. Um, everything is built at a very low level, so it talks directly to Cardano node. There's no Cardano CLI involved with building these transactions. The system builds the transactions and does all the transaction signing itself. Um, it also is capable of monitoring the blockchain itself as uh, new, new blocks and transactions arrive and it can monitor those uh, payment addresses. And soon I'm going to be building out poolperks.io. So if you're delegated to a stake pool, you can go to this website put in your stake address, and then it'll drop some perks that that pool has decided to offer to you for you know a small, tiny donation of ADA. And so that'll encourage people to kind of hopefully move around, try different stake pools, collect all the perks, um, that kind of a thing. So hopefully it gets some people involved, maybe some smaller pools will make some really cool perks, and uh, hopefully that can take off. Uh, the next one I want to highlight is... Um, I'm going to try and say this right, Hydron, uh, and this is by Adoji Wolf, Wolf Kyle Solomon. You can find him on Twitter. Um, I think Adam Dean is also involved with this project and helping build it out. So this is another token platform. It's obviously, as you can see, a little more user-friendly than Firehose at, the, at its current iteration. And this is also designed for... Um, Token, token drops. It's a little little bit more of a manual process, but it can monitor the chain for uh, payments, dust amounts, drop tokens. Um, you can put tokens on it. You can do other stuff. I won't do it justice here, but um, you know it can monitor the chain for for how your various processes are are going. And it, under the covers, uses the BlockFrost API for a lot of its um, stuff. That is uh, Marek's, Marek, Marek, I don't know how to say his name, his, his system for integrating with the Cardano blockchain. It's kind of a lower level API. But a lot of neat projects are built on top of uh, that BlockFrost API. Um, so an overview of what it is, um, it, it allows for custom app integration with Cardano. This is open source. It was a, a winner of a Catalyst project, so um, everything will be open source and available. So you take this Hydrant project and you build your own thing on top of it. Um, so essentially, you can trigger a custom action when you detect an ADA payment. If you want to do um, you know, native asset withdrawals, you can do that. Um, you can also receive callbacks to your own system for do something on your own when you see ADA land on an address or something like that. Um, it also uses, as I said, BlockFrost API, so it can do things like see where a given stake address was delegated back into the past, um, things like that. So we got a little teaser tweet from Kyle the other day. I wanted to highlight this. Um, so he has a project called Adoja. And Adoja is named after, I believe, his um, one of his pets or former pets. It was a wolf, a wolf uh, dog hybrid. And um, this project is 
designed around using Internet of Things technology. So that's what the um, the ADO token will be used for is is um, doing transactions on the Adoja platform will allow you to um, do things with Internet of Things devices. And holders of that, that token um, will, of course, be able to do things on that platform. So that's kind of the utility of the platform. And again, I'm not doing it justice. This is his project. You'll have to reach out to him for additional information. I'm sure he'll comment and down below and tell me everything I said wrong about his project. That's okay. Um, just let me know, Kyle, in the, in the comments below. Um, I'm also going to post a link to kind of the um, initial Hydran documents down below so you can get more information about them. But um, essentially what he's going to do with this um, ADO airdrop is if you delegate to any number of you know, OG stake pools, you'll be able to go into Hydran and um, for all of your past delegation, you'll be able to get some ADO token airdrops. So he says this will all happen in July. So we're coming up on mid-July right now, and hopefully by the end of July he has something available for us to play with. That'll be really cool. Anyway, um, check out his project um, and stay tuned for more updates on Firehose stuff as well. And it's really cool to see all the, the crazy neat stuff that's happening in the Cardano space. So with that, nerd out.